Pacific Drive is a new game that's basically Stalker, but with a station wagon. And brother, let me tell you, you're gonna love the way you look in this wagon. This hunk of junk beauty is gonna be your lifeblood as you explore the mysterious post-apocalypse question mark of the Pacific Northwest, raiding gas stations, research bases, and derelict shacks for everything from fabric scraps to plasma canisters which you're going to use to craft upgrades and repair kits for yourself, but more importantly, your car. See, when you first start, your car's kinda gonna be a piece of shit. You'll be trying your best to drive through overgrown Pacific forests on spare tires and hope, with your body panels literally being held together by duct tape. But as you go further and further on, you'll be replacing these shoddy components with rugged off-road tires, armored bumpers, roof racks, literal jump jets, and electric coils to blast off anything that might cling to your car. Because that's another thing, you're not just moseying around out there in the forest and small towns with you and your car. You're doing all of that while dodging a heaping helping of anomalies ranging from helpful critters that cling to your car and repair your damaged components to devastating buzz saws and creepy exploding mannequins. There are these spectral lines in the ground that if your car touches you get sent flying up into the air. These anomalies are well and good as you're looting, but everything ramps up to 11 when it's time to extract. By the way, did I mention that this is an extraction looter? Anyways, when you're extracting, you're opening up a temporal portal to warp you back to your home base and the new denizens of the forest don't really like that. So now you're on a timer to the world kind of folding in on itself, screaming over hills and ditches, down mountains, all the while trying to avoid anomalous ley lines or abducting machine beasts that will try to steal your car with you inside of it. These extractions are a white-knuckled exciting thrill ride that turn the slow methodical looting lead up to it on its head in a truly wonderful way. When you finally extract and get back to base, you'll be given a chance to use your hard-earned loot to upgrade your car, as mentioned, but you'll also get the chance to diagnose some quirks that your car develops in the zone. See, your car is sort of an anomaly itself, so sometimes you'll get little mechanical gremlins that are simple. Every time you shut your trunk, the car beeps. Small endearing little foibles that feel like honest to god quirks you'd expect from an old well-loved car. But then you'll get more anomalous quirks. Stuff like, whenever you turn your windshield wiper, your car jumps literally upwards into the air, or when you turn the steering wheel to the left, your gas pedal slams to the floor. These quirks are probably my favorite system in the game because they're developing while you're in the zone, so you could be three sectors deep into your run before realizing that whenever you turn your headlights on, your car shuts off. So now you're doing the normal rigmarole of dodging these anomalies and trying to move forward, but now you need to augment your behavior around that newfound quirk. And the best part is, a lot of the time you're not going to immediately realize what's occurred. You're probably just going to think, huh, that's weird, why does my car keep cutting off? The first quirk I really noticed, every time I turned the car on, the trunk would open. I thought this was a bug at first and was genuinely going to submit a bug report before realizing that no, that's just a part of the game. And you get all these weird little symptoms that you're trying to diagnose. And that's how you actually fix the issue. You need to diagnose it. You need to know that not only is your car shutting off, but why it's shutting off. What action is triggering it? I know I've spent a healthy portion of this short review raving about the system, but I genuinely think that it is such an awesome way to tie the gameplay into the feeling of owning and keeping an old beater car running. This is a lemon love letter. You develop a real attachment to the car as you're tinkering with it, painting it, and fixing it up when it starts to buckle. It kind of becomes yours. It's a system that works so much better than I was expecting it to, which is a really good thing because the game's best qualities sort of stop and end with the car and your interactions with it. Looting the abandoned buildings and research stations is pretty dull to be honest. They're the same buildings and nothing really changes except for where the toolboxes and lockers are. For huge portions of the game, there's basically nothing to threaten you while you're on foot, so you're just doing busy work gathering materials before getting back to your car. 
And even if something were to threaten you, you're probably parked literally right outside of the research station or shack that you're currently looting. Don't get me wrong, it's not bad, it's fine. Gathering stuff that you know is going to be pumped into meaningful upgrades still feels okay. But the game doesn't really help itself either with the abstraction of materials to plastics, scrap metal, rubber, etc. Meaning that you're kind of just making the numbers on your resources go up. It's not a strictly bad thing and it seems clear that the game is doing this to further its ambitions to create something that isn't just another extraction shooter and a non-combat focused RPG. And some small part of me can't help but pine after this exact game with an extra layer of MSIM shooter spread over top of it. With that relatively small quibble aside though, I really cannot recommend Pacific Drive enough. It is a fantastic game that had me one more running well into the night. Pacific Drive is launching on Steam for $29.99 on February 22nd. 